Hi everyone, hope you're doing okay, hope you've had a good week. Now of course this week's news from Star Citizen is dominated by the release of 3.51 and uh, unfortunately it wasn't quite as smooth as everyone would have hoped. A few bugs and glitches did creep in. However, they have patched it, so hopefully uh, things are a little bit better for Sorry. everyone playing. A lot of the issues are related to how busy the servers are when you play. You may or may not experience uh, bugs and glitches, uh, even with the uh, new patch they've pushed out. Obviously, uh, for the future, server-side object container streaming will hopefully alleviate a lot of these issues. Now some of these issues could be due to the uh, 300i Origin Celebration uh, event which is happening at the moment. I think it does close on the 13th where you're able to fly all of the Origin ships including the 600i and uh, at the moment there's a lot of those being spawned and with the servers the way they are, a ship of that size probably doesn't help. Now obviously as I said earlier, going forward, server-side uh, object container streaming will probably help a lot. Now of course we saw uh, with this 3.51 patch uh, introduced, the first look at uh, ship customization for the 300 series and uh, that that was pretty interesting to see obviously uh, this is the first implementation of this for ships we'll see it rolled out for other ships in the future now my own view on this is that ship customization is something I would aim to do in game obviously earn the credits and uh, do it once the game is going but a lot of people want to customize sh their ship already and of course uh, it will help to uh, continue with the ongoing funding for the game so uh, it's there if you want to uh, customize your 300 i series ships now in this week's inside star citizen the most interesting part was another look at the ongoing work with the 890 jump. So we got a look at the 890 jump bridge. Now the 890 jump, as you all know by now, is this massive luxury party ship, about 200 meters long at least, I believe. Now, uh, obviously it uh, sticks to the similar design we've seen in the uh, Origin 600 series and in fact uh, you can see elements of the design now across the entire Origin ship range uh, from uh, the 300 series upwards. So it's a pretty uh, big bridge here dominated by this big radar globe in the middle so obviously uh, you'll be able to uh, plot your uh, destinations uh, for your uh, long distance party cruises and here we've got a uh, cupboard where they put the components in so uh, you'll be able to uh, do some uh, maintenance there. Now one uh, thing we did find out about the uh, Origin 890 jump is that it's only got not only one bridge but two bridges. In fact uh, there's another uh, room here which is described as a battle bridge now i don't think it's like the uh, battle bridge we saw in star trek the next generation where the uh, uh, saucer section would fly off and leave the uh, ship uh, bridge the battle bridge behind on the main uh, drive section this is just a separate room which uh, is described as being a lot more secure if you're under intense attack Obviously, uh, it's not finished yet. I've got some final art to go in here, and uh, we'll see more of that, obviously, uh, in the future. Now, we had a look around some of the rest of the ship, including a, uh, a weapons locker. So, obviously, uh, this type of ship 
could well be prone to uh, being boarded. And in fact, I'm sure I saw something in the monthly report uh, that they're actually prototyping some type of mission involving the 890 jump. That would be brilliant if you had like an, a, a, a t an attack and hold type gameplay. And uh, that would be a very interesting to see. And finally, we got a look at the uh, medical bay here. So uh, obviously, uh, if things get bad and you need patching up, you can uh, get repaired and healed in here. Now there has been the usual uh, roadmap update this week and we have seen uh, things pushed out from 3.6 to 3.7 certainly in relation to AI. Now along with uh, what I said earlier about uh, server-side object container streaming AI I would rank as a uh, pretty much up there with that as being one of the most important things to do for the game going forward. Certainly uh, Squadron 42 uh, will need AI, so a lot of the work uh, being done on that will filter down uh, to, uh, well, uh, the PU. So uh, that's been pushed out to 3.7, and uh, obviously uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, how that pans out. AI is a tremendously uh, difficult thing to do in games and uh, with the uh, AI for Star Citizen being uh, pretty much uh, advanced you're going to need it uh, uh, not just uh, for ship combat and uh, obviously uh, first person combat as well you're going to ultimately need the AI to be able to actually man positions on your ship. So not going to be a simple job, but uh, hopefully going forward uh, we'll see some improved AI. Uh, hopefully uh, uh, sometime later in the year. Well, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and hopefully I'll see you all sometime soon. Direct. From the verse.